<laughs> yes, it's not just about this particular organization. Providing that building provides a hub to regenerate all the local arts organizations and provide a, an arts community in Stafford. Just needs that one place that everything can connect with. Thank you, Andrew. I'm going to go round straight to Jeremy because I know he's got to go soon. Have you got a message? Thanks, Nikki. Yes, I think the message from me is that there are so many people and organisations, whether in publishing, whether in uh, performing arts, theatre, music, whatever, who really would like a home in Stafford that's well run, well resourced, well managed and available. And that that's what this is about at this stage. Thank you. Who's next? Mel? Yes, we desperately need a hub in Stafford to make it um, that there's a space to be inclusive and accessible for families, for adults, for children, for everyone to be able to come and feel safe in an atmosphere to express themselves, maybe do creative and therapeutic kind of work there, but also just have a nice social space to come and chill out as well. Could you say a little bit about what you might bring? Yeah, for me personally, for my organisation, Melwood End Writing, I would be very interested in holding lots of poetry events there, um, poetry workshops that focus on therapy, um, the idea of creative expression through words and writing, but also the performance aspect as well. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, Peter. I'm Peter Murphy, Arts Council of England. In principle, we would be really interested in funding a space like this. It meets a lot of our criteria. Uh, we're national lottery funded, so it's about that reach into communities. I've seen the work that you've done and you're speaking the language that we need to speak as well around the business model. So it's not just the arts and the social impact, you have got a sustainable business model and it's strengthened by the partnership with Sculpt. Thank you. Chris? Great. Uh, for me, I think, like Mark said, accessibility is really important because it's not only about a an accessible art, art space for people to come to, but it's it's really fundamentally for me it's about a space that people can come and perhaps be introduced to the arts, so it widens participation in the arts. Yeah. And with my other hat on as working at Warden Hall Special School, yes, it's a set, it, it could be a safe space where young people can come during the day, whether that be performance, volunteering, helping out, and engaging. So I, I think it you know it has huge potential in this way. Thank you, Chris. Anybody else? Lynn? Do you want to? you got to go. Don't want to be on the video. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, again, just really um, saying what everybody else has said, I think it would be a great space for people to come together in the arts, um, a, place, a great place for Stafford um, to create some collaboration between its community and the creative businesses that happen there. Right could you very quickly say what your business is? Yes, um, I'm Stafford Publishers. Um, we do a lot of author events. Um, so it would be really fabulous if we had a space to do book launches and just a general place where authors could come together and meet and, and say the collaboration. I already work with Mel. We do quite a few events, don't we, Mel, around the town, which works really well. So, yes, it's, uh, I think it would be fantastic. Thank you very much, Lynn. Do you want to say something, Dave? Yeah, certainly. Well, obviously, my activities is all to do with public theatre. And although I have a public theatre uh, and all the facilities to put on shows, I don't have the space to do that. In addition, it's a matter of reaching out to people, uh, inviting people to get to know about the art of poetry, to get involved in performing, bringing it all together, and a space like this would enable that to happen. And what's your company called? Well, I'm representing two. One is my own, which is Pelham Puppets, and secondly, uh, uh, I'm here as a representative of the Village Puppet and Model Theatre Guild, which is a non-profit organisation uh, uh, whose aim is to uh, promote the art of public theatre and related theatre. Thank you, David. Any, anything, anything, Mark? Uh, just to say that we would support anything that happens. We don't want to interfere and try and overstep what you're doing. We think it's a great idea. We really need to get behind you and support you where we can. Um, I think it's a great way to help regenerate the town centre just by bringing people in. Retail is obviously dropping off. There needs to be something else that's bringing people into the town. Mm. Hopefully, if the arts improve in Stafford, 
then that's a great way to do that. Yeah. And it's offering something different that is an alternative to chasing retail and residential. Yeah. And I, I think that's something that can really you yeah. know, take off. And the other thing as well, with regards to the relationship with the gatehouse, um, I don't know if John can expand on this maybe a little bit, because we've talked about how the um, space station could be a kind of step up. Yes, we, we, we did talk about this. Um, yeah. in, in a wider remit, yeah, the, the, the gate, uh, what we do could potentially be a leg up to, to expand a, a bigger stage. Uh, but it became quite apparent that what we want to do with the space station doesn't tread on any other toes at Stafford. We're not talking about no. fine art. We're not talking about a large-scale theatre. We're not talking about a large-scale music venue. Stafford's got all of those things already. What it hasn't got is what we're discussing here, and everyone seems to be really on, on, on board with that. Yeah, yeah. So people might practice, maybe students, so your amateur performers might come and do their practice at the space station and then having got that confidence and got a bit of local support then they might come to the gatehouse and 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 sort of step up it, it, it you know like so it really yeah we, we just wouldn't want to take people away from you yeah so we please don't <laughs> you got me too cheap no, but, but, but that's it and that's where we'd have to develop that relationship to make sure that we're working well absolutely and, uh, you know the, yeah the big aim is to get people into the town give people that experience of the arts yeah thank you I maureen if you, if you have the, um, a building you could have music within that building yes uh, and that could be for all sorts of events anyway yeah. but also it could be for teaching it could be mm. partly teaching as well um, I'm sure it's quite difficult these days for young children to actually learn to play the piano for, or to learn to play any instrument mm. unless they go to a school which is, 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 is doing that for them so yeah. a centre like this means that you could have music that can the music could be connected to the other areas that you're actually dealing with yeah. and to see what the and as well as being um, one of our town county councillors, mm. you organise an important event, don't you? I organise Stafford's Music Festival. You do? Which takes At, place yeah. from the 4th, the start on the 4th, no, 3rd actually now, the 3rd to the 19th of May. Of May, so yes. probably a little bit soon to uh, use the space station as a venue, but... If there was a place like the space station, that might be somewhere that could be a venue during the music festival. It could because um, we have very small groups um, who could be playing or performing, or I say children who could be playing, and you don't really want to put children into a large venue, but it would be great if there was a small venue and then you could actually perform within that venue yeah. with other art activities going on. Lovely. So, Thank you. Uh, touching on something else that we discussed, um, we mentioned the cultural map all the way through this, uh, and that cultural map is a joining up exercise. So, Gatehouse Theatre events would be advertised, you know, the leaflets would be there in, in the space station. Um, the, the, the Reading Bell Staffordshire Music Fest would be there detailed in the space station, mm -hmm. pointing people out to whatever else is going on in Staff. Like uh, what, what, uh, the, um, the Creative Information Centre? Yes. Instead of the Tourist Information Centre, we're the Creative yeah. Information, information Centre. Center. Yeah. Um, just going. Billy, did you want to say something? Just that it's a really exciting project to be working on, and I'm really looking forward to having it all set up. And I think it is really crucial for the development of Stafford as a town, um, and just seeing where it's going to go is going to be very exciting. Yeah. What about your role in Sculpt, Mike? Well, uh, I was a trustee. Um, the con as the constitution stood at the time, um, you, you have to leave after three years. Uh, and So I left after two years so I could hopefully go back at the next AGM and get stuck in with this, this venture. Yep. Thank you. Um, I think that's it. I would like to say one last word then. Yep. Connective Arts has been on this subject for some years. Considerable number of years, beavering away, working it all up. 
Um, and with respect to the other members, I would particularly like to mention Nikki, who's oh, put bless her you. heart and soul into it. Yeah. <laughs> and she's worked by I was with her for five hours on Wednesday, and so was John, working away at this, today's presentation. And that's only the tip of the iceberg of the work she's put in. So, oh, bless this you. Is, this Thank is, you. This is the the pinnacle for her. <coughs> please, please go away and give her your back. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's lovely. Um, did you did you want did you think of anything, Peter? No. All right. <laughs> Peter does great photography exhibitions and fabulous photography, and he wants to put them on at the space station. Hopefully, that was pointing at my face when I said that. All right. Thank you very much.